Welcome to the Tuesday nights. Welcome to the big time. I'm not Becky Lynch, but I said it as good as her, right? 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 Yesterday I made a post on YouTube, probably you're not seeing these posts because you're not in YouTube, where I was wondering if this NXT quality is gonna be as good as the last Tuesday. Of course, I can't expect to be because last week John Cena, Undertaker, Paul Heyman, all of that shtick. But this week, we'll see. The night started with Bada Bing, Bada Boom, Battle Royale. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't like that name. Name, but the battle royale is special because if one of the team members is eliminated that means that the whole team gets eliminated and after that when two teams remain in the battle royale a normal match is starting a normal tag team match is starting and basically the winner will face the family or Tony D and Stax for the tag team titles and the whole thing was won by Angel Garza and Humberto Creel. Uh, they cheated a little bit, but they won, and I'm kind of happy that they won because they were on the losing end for quite some time. Okay, a little bit of an update, but I totally forgot how this match went. First one, the Bada Bing, Bada Boom, Bada Royale was won by Chase U, not uh, Angel Gathers and Humberto. I totally forgot the interference of the Creed brothers because this was totally out of their style like usually they don't interfere in matches but yeah chase you won this is excited for chase you i'm also excited for angel and garza angel garza is this <laughs> for angel and humberto because they're having an active feud now with the creed brothers and having a feud with the creed brothers is good don't watch the schism they were not good example of a good fight but anyway yeah back to the video uh sorry for the mistake sorry sorry after that i want to quickly cover both of the matches in the nxt women's breakout tournament the first match was between jade parker and carmen petrovic and the other match was between ariana grace and brinley reese brinley reese stepped up the last second uh, because uh, the original contender was injured. I want to cover both of these matches in one segment because I had nothing to add. Like, I didn't expect anyone else to win, uh, nothing spectacular happened. So yeah, these matches just went off and now we have the semi-finals which are gonna be at Halloween Havoc Night 1. And uh, am I excited about it? Not really. I'm really excited about the finals because someone will get a contract that she will get a championship opportunity whenever she wants, basically like money in the bank. But besides that, nothing more. Not, yeah. We had a sweet little match between Lyra Valkyria and Tegan Knox. I don't know why this happens. Like, why Raw superstars are going to... NXT constantly like Tegan Knox. I thought that she's staying on Raw and all of a sudden she, now she's on NXT, but she's still on Raw. But at the same time, Natty came out and she was supporting Tegan Knox and uh, they had a match. The match went well, but uh, unfortunately, Lyra Valkyrie won because. Tegan Knox was distracted and, uh, and the distraction was from the WWE Tag Team Champs, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Probably next week we're gonna see Tegan Knox and Natalia versus the Champs, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. I have nothing else to say here besides please do the match, let Natalia and Tegan Knox lose the opportunity and move on thank you after that a sweet little match between Shotzi and Kiana James with the reoccurring theme of Raw and Smackdown superstars appearing on NXT Shotzi is barely stepped foot in Smackdown and now she's on NXT and she's the host of Halloween Havoc alongside with Scarlett but we haven't seen Scarlett yet probably we're gonna see Scarlett next week when it's the Halloween Havoc but we see Shotzi a lot we see Tegan Knox a lot yeah that's it. Uh, also, Shotzi won because she revenged Roxanne Perez because Keanu James were talking smack to her or something. Last but not least, the main event, Dijak versus Baron Corbin versus Carmelo Hayes. At the start of the night, these three gentlemen were, were standing in the ring, crash talking each other when Ilya Dragunov just went out there. No, he, he was just video packaging it, the whole thing. 
is this a word? Video packaging? It is. <laughs> anyway, and he said that Cody Rhodes, the last second, made a decision and he included Trick Williams to be in that match as well, being a, a fatal four-way match, which was amazing. I was really hyped to see Trick Williams in that match because of the drama that's gonna stir up between Melo and Trick, but I suspect, and everyone else probably suspects, that Carmelo attacked Trick backstage so he cannot go to the match and he was sent to a medical facility and basically the original match came into play the original triple threat match Carmelo Hayes, Baron Corbin and Dijak Carmelo Hayes won of course the underdog but I'm happy with this I'm, I'm pretty sure that Dijak will have his opportunity down the line and Baron Corbin as well but I wanted to see Carmelo Hayes beating both of these gentlemen but I kind of wanted to see Trick coming at the end of the match and being like Melo no one knows who attacked me, but I know, and you know as well, and blah, and basically the Trick Mello gang is just no more, and I want something like this to happen, but probably next week, probably next week, I don't know, I'm not sure. That was it for NXT, was it as good as the previous Tuesday? Of course not, but they have tried, they have tried with the promo packages and the NXT, Becky Lynch champion situation and Jade Cargill would showed up once again. I feel like Jade Cargill is showing up on every freaking promotion. I don't have a problem with this. The main event, the triple threat match that should have been Fatal 4-Way. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying their best. Are they doing a good job? Yes, of course. If I should have raided the NXT show this week, I would have given it 7. 7 out of 10. A solid show not as great as the last week last week i would have given it nine out of ten but this week seven i think it's okay having two breakout tournament matches per show is kind of too much but this is just me i guess thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you tomorrow for aw dynamite